Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with another Project Pan update. This time it's for the Project 5 Uses Project Pan. This is a project that I am dedicating to all the products in my Oh the Shame drawer. It used to be two bins, it used to be two shelves, now it's one drawer and I'm, I'm thrilled with that. I'm whittling away, which means that I'm purchasing less. So these are all the products that come into my collection that I want to try before they go bad. I want to use them, I want to see if I like them, and if I don't, I declutter them. If I like them, they become part of my collection. So let me get into the 10 items, and I always have 10 in at a time, that I was using for this past month. I have two foundations in. The first one is this Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. It is beautiful. I really like this. It's definitely right on the money when it says weightless. This is a beautiful shade for me. It works really, really well. And I don't feel like it makes my skin feel, look cakey. It covers up just what I need it to cover up and I really, really enjoy it. So this one is definitely staying around. I used it the five times. It's rolling out. This is also rolling out. It's the MAC Studio Fix Everyday Wear All Over Face Pen. And this is more of a full coverage foundation. It clicks up into this like pen and yeah, it goes out, I put it on my brush and it's lovely. I'm not a full coverage girly. However, if I do want full coverage, this is the one I would go for because I don't feel like it makes my skin look cakey. I don't think it like sinks into my fine lines. Guys, I am more and more a lover of MAC the more I try things. And I can't say enough good stuff about this. And I'm not a full coverage girly. So if I like it, you should try it. If you're a full coverage person, you like full coverage makeup, try this. The MAC Studio Fix Everyday Wear All Over Face Pen. It's gorgeous. I used it the five times. It's rolling out. I also have a powder in here. This is from Beauty Bakery. It's the Flower Setting Powder. And this is in the shade um, Oat, which is the translucent shade. Now, I used this the five times. It is rolling out, but let me see if I can get a little bit here for you. I don't think this is translucent when I put it on my skin. Actually, when I put it on my skin, I feel like it makes me look a little yellow. It is really pretty in the fact that it's a little luminous though. So if I were to use this, I am gonna keep it in my collection for a little longer because I do like that it's finely milled. I like the way it sets on my face. I just don't like the color. And it, I feel like it makes me look a little bit yellow. Um, but if I'm filming, I can use this. So I'm gonna keep it around um, and use like just when I'm filming. Okay, I have an eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Rockateur, Rockstar. Rockateur, Rockstar. This is beautiful. I really enjoyed using this. I used it five times. It's a beautiful plummy purple shade. Um, yeah, I mean, it glides on. It wears nicely. It says that it is waterproof and long-lasting. I can't attest to the waterproof, but I can attest to the long-lasting. It is sticking around. I have three eyeshadows. One is from um, Urban Decay, and it's a moon dust shadow in the shade Space Cowboy. This is lovely, but it is definitely a topper. I can use this over pretty much anything. It's a very forgiving shade. There it is there. It goes on top of pretty much anything and it really just adds a little bit of sparkle. Now I probably would use this more over neutral um, colors than I would other things because it does have that under that, that brown um, base, but it is beautiful. And then I have two of these MAC Sparkler eyeshadows from the um, Holiday Collection. This one is in Zero Chill. It is a lovely, like, purple, silvery shade. And this one is in Jingle Tingle, and it is a pretty green with, like, some hints, just a little bit of, like, maybe, like, a goldy color. These are definitely toppers as well, but I did enjoy using them and I'm gonna keep them in my collection. They are rolling out as well. 
finally, um, I have a couple of MAC single shadows. I have one in the shade Girly. This is a really beautiful pink. I've used this in my transition and I really enjoyed it. It is definitely sticking around. I mean, it's just such a subtle pink. Um, but I'm going to keep it in my collection. So there's that. It's very lovely. And then last but not least, this one is still going to stay in the project because I've only used it four times. But this is called um, Starry Night. And it's a really pretty brown, green, brown, purple shift, brown, blue, brown, blue. I mean, it's like an oil slick on your finger. But yeah, brown, blue, purple. It's very pretty. But that one I definitely need to put on with my finger or have like a NYX glitter glue on or something because otherwise I don't feel like it really shows up. That's what was really disappointing about it to me. I feel like it's very finicky and I have to like really work with it in order to make it work for me. So yeah, those are all the items that I have been playing around with. The only one that is staying in the project is this Starry Night by MAC. So that is the first item that I will be rolling over. Nine are leaving, so I'm adding nine into my rotation. So let me know. Let, blah, blah. So let me get on with what those are. All right, let me get out of the base products out of the way first. The first thing I'm bringing in is this NARS... Um, uh, what is this? The Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've heard a lot of good things about this. This is in the shade Madeline, I'm hoping, or Madeline, Madeline. Um, I'm hoping that it works for me under my eyes. That's where I primarily will use this. I mean, it kind of looks like it's gonna work. We will see, because I definitely need some color correcting to cancel out the blue under my eyes. I'm bringing in three foundations foundation products. The first one is this House Labs um, Triclone Skin Tech Foundation in the shade, what is my shade? Oh, 110 Night Light Neutral. I cannot wait to try this. I used it once when I went to Rhinebeck with Jaylon and Andrea and Danny, and Jaylon let me try hers, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it looked nice on my skin, but I'm excited to give it more of a try because one time can't really tell after five you can tell if it's going to work for you or not so this is rolling in I also have this Dior um, backstage face and body foundation in zero n I know this looks super light but I mean I'm a super light girly this is the lightest one that they had and I did swatch them all in the store this one was the best option for me so we'll see after five uses if this is going to be a good option or if it's going to make me look like a pale ghost and I'm going to cry I don't know might have to like save it for like the next round of paranormal pantivity if Andrea brings that back. And then the last complexion item I'm bringing in is this little mini La Roche Posay Tinted Mineral Anthelios Light Fluid Sunscreen. I want to see if this works for me because I have a full sized one in my drawer of shame that if this works, then I definitely want to bring that one in to use this summer when I'm at the beach and on different vacations. I'm going to go on a, a quick trip um, in a couple days and I want to try this to see if it works for me. So that's the final complexion product I'm bringing in. I'm bringing in one liner. That is one that was decluttered to me from Amy. Um, her channel is Curly's Curiosities and this is from Makeup Geek in the shade purple and there it is there I believe. Oh yeah it rolls up. It's a retractable. So I thought well I Brought, I took out Rockstar. I'll bring in a shade very similar and see how I like it. So I'm excited to use that. I'm also bringing in two blushes. The first one is my newest one from Rare Beauty. I'm so excited to use this. It's in the shade Hope. I hope I love this. I hope, I hope. <laughs> it is beautiful. I bought this at the last Sephora sale. You saw that in my Sephora haul. I'm really glad that I'm getting to use this right away though because in the past I would buy products and they would just sit around forever. But there's that, oh it's so lovely. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem using that one at all. I'm also bringing in one of my newer products that I purchased from Love Heatherette. Um, this is the Phytosurgeons Blush in the shade Condensate. And it's a, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I'm curious to see how to use this. I think you just, 
put it on and blend it out. But I know their products are a little finicky, but there's the shade there. I mean, that's lovely. I'm very excited to try it. Um, I'm gonna look on their website and see if they like suggest using it in a certain kind of way because I know with their highlighter, it's very finicky and you have to use it in a certain way, otherwise it doesn't really work, which sometimes is an issue. But if I have time to get ready, like, like I'll save those products for when I have extra time, like a day like today, it's Saturday. I had all the time in the world to get ready. So I played with all my fun, finicky products and that was okay for me. Next up, I'm putting in this um, bronzer that I got decluttered to me from Amy Melissa. And this is beautiful. It's the Bronze Metalist um, and Goldie Luxe powder blush duo but to me this is a bronzer so here is one side and here is the other side and I'll swatch them separate and then I will swatch them together so separate and then together I think together they will make a really pretty bronzer but I also will try them separately and see if I can use like one as a highlighter and one as a bronzer but for me that is not a blush so it will be used as a bronzer highlighter whatever and then last but not least, I'm bringing in this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. This was also decluttered to me by Amy Melissa, and it's brand spanking new. She still has this little plastic thing on it. This is the only full-sized Becca highlighter that I have, and it's I just think it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to try it. And this is a great time for me to use this project or product within the next couple of months because it's a little warmer, and going into, like, spring and summer, that's, like, perfect for me. So if it works well, then I know I can roll it into a project like now and use it in those spring and summer months. So, yeah, I'm thrilled. Those This was almost a full refresh, not quite. I was like, darn you, starry night but I wasn't gonna fib and I wasn't gonna like you know wait to film so one rollover from last time and nine new products entering thank you so much for watching and giving me a part of your day I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon bye